This is how we spent two days at Zion National Park. We had a pretty short first day in Zion. Our first stop was Checkerboard Mesa Viewpoint. Then we did a quick hike. Canyon Overlook took us about 20 minutes to get to the top and an hour total stopping for photos and some videos along the way. From here, we drove through Mount Carmel Tunnel, which you'll probably hear a lot about throughout your research. And our final stop of the day was the museum. Before we continue, make sure you subscribe and check out our other videos. My husband and I took a road trip from Salt Lake City to Las Vegas, so lots of fun content coming your way. Day two for us was all about the Narrows. If you've done any research on Zion, you've probably heard about the Narrows. There's a few different places that you can rent gear from, even if it is the summertime. Just the shoes were super helpful so you don't slip and fall on the rocks. We got the full outfits with the bib, the stick, the shoes, and the socks. We rented from Zion Outfitters. We got there at about 7.30 a.m. After renting our gear, we drove and parked at the visitor center. This is where a lot of people park, so again, earlier is better if you can get a parking spot there. We took the shuttle to the last stop, which is for the Narrows. It says it's about a 45 minute drive. I'd say it was about 30 minutes, depending on how much the bus stops. Something I did not know about is that once you get off the bus, it's about a mile walk to actually get to the Narrows. So just something to keep in mind and be prepared for. I really did not think we were gonna hike in the Narrows for that long. In my mind, we were gonna do 30 minutes up, 30 minutes back for an hour total, but we wound up hiking for four hours total. It took us about two hours to get to Orderville Gulch, which is where the river splits, and then we turned around and went back. The highest the water got for us was chest deep. It did not go in our waders, luckily, or I think I would have been absolutely freezing cold. I forgot to mention earlier, but it was $118 for both of us to rent the gear. We would have been absolutely miserable. There were a few people there without gear, and you could just tell they were so unprepared and they did not last that long. We did have another hike planned on day two, but since we hiked the Narrows for so long, we wound up skipping it, which I think is totally fine given how much fun we actually had in the Narrows. If you guys have any questions on Zion or the Narrows or any of the other parks that we visited, drop a comment down below and I will answer it as best as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching.